Hey guys, welcome to Mobile Camera Guide, helping you learn filmmaking and photography on your mobile devices. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to get a cinematic film look video on an Android phone. And what I've got here is the S8, and which is pretty kind of high-end phone. It's starting to go out because new phones roll out every six months. But this will apply to any type of phone that you might have. It's an Android, or you're using Motorola, or you're using a Pixel, or etc. We're going to be going through and seeing how to get footage that starts off maybe looking like this and getting it to look like this. And I'm going to be going through all the steps you need to do to create cinematic video straight from your Android phone. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so to start we're going to put our S8 in the tripod holder, which you can pick up one of those phone ones off of Amazon or eBay. And then we're just going to open up the camera app. And by the look of things, we are pretty far away from the tree, so I'm just going to scoot the camera a little bit closer. Now, what you'll also notice is we are in the just standard camera app, and so that's all automatic settings. So what we're going to want to do is exit this automatic camera app and go to a manual control app, which, for example, Filmic Pro is one of those. Um, there's plenty of apps that allow you to do manual controls, but Filmic Pro is the best for video. So we're going to open that, and we'll go from there. And the next important thing to do is we need to line up our footage, which is putting it in between that grid that we have right up there on the screen. You want those four corners. Um, there's two corners on the left, two corners on the right. You're going to want your subject touching one of those corners, for example, the trees here, and that's going to help make your footage a lot more cinematic. Next. We're going to go to resolution and make sure you'll put that filmic extreme on. That's going to give you the highest 1080p video. And then our next step to gain this more cinematic is we're going to put this in the format of 2 by 59 by 1. Now you'll see the fade, faded black bars up above. That means we're recording with the black bars on the video. So if I click record right here, it's as you can see here, you can see those nice black bars. It gives a more cinematic feel. If those black bars are a little too big, you can actually make them smaller, but having black bars on your video, it's going to make it a lot more cinematic. Next, we need to control the temperature of the video. Now, if I put it down on this cold setting and click record, it's going to make the whole video look a lot more colder, um, more like a winter type video maybe, and maybe that's the feel you're going for. Otherwise, you can do the opposite, warm up the video, and it's going to give it a lot warmer of a feel. And actually, I really like the warm feel, so I'm going to go with that and keep that because I like the warmer look. And then all you have to do is take this footage, put it into your color grading app or computer software. And as you can see, once it's color graded, it looks absolutely great straight from the S8, and nothing's going to beat that. Now I also want to mention that, here's my iPhone, you can also get uh, picture styles, but this costs extra on Filmic Pro, and this will give you log, it'll help you with color grading, um, takes away a lot of the colors added, so you can customize it yourself, but just wanted to throw that out there. And as you can see, following the simple steps, here's the automatic camera app, and then here's following all the steps we just did, and it looks absolutely astounding. And all you gotta do is follow those steps, line it up, put the bars on, adjust the colors a little bit, and boom, you have a great video. Here are the trees, just this is just the automatic camera app. Then following the steps we just went through, boom, this looks absolutely wonderful. And that's about it for making videos in Android. Thanks for watching, and if you're wanting to learn how to color grade on your Android device, be sure to stick around. I'll have a link in the description soon, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.